first up this morning, we're in the kitchen cooking with flavors from Orcas Island. New Leaf Cafe is in the Outlook in the town of East Sound, serving up Pacific Northwest Fair. Their chef, Andrew Martin, is with me, now cooking up a delicious seafood dish. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, this is fresh. If people could mm -hmm. smell how fresh this seafood smells. Um, so first off, what are we making today? All right, so I stopped by a couple of our local farms, and specifically Buck Bay Shellfish Farm. They wow. produce and uh, gather a lot of the local fresh just beautiful seafood. So okay. um, I have some halibut and some local sockeye salmon, but today we're going to put together a dish with my favorite is the spot prawns. Spot prawns. Um, like a sweet, delicious shrimp, basically. Are they sweeter than? I think they are. Most? Okay. I think they are. And you can pick them up raw or cooked. Uh, I think it's easier just to pick them up cooked because they do a great job. Um, they hold for, you know, a while. But these I got yesterday and they're going to be spectacular. I'm okay. Sure. So it's okay to then pick them up cooked and then make absolutely. the sauce. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that because sometimes it's a little intimidating. For sure. And <laughs> I left all the shells and the heads on to make it even more intimidating. I mentioned that sometimes <laughs> having their eyes looking at me and judging. Okay. It's tough, but that's okay. It's going to see you back, it's the seafood. It's going to see you so. back. Okay. All How right. How do so, we get started? Yeah, so we're going to put together a dish. Uh, we're going to put together a uh, uh, saffron and green bean salad. I threw okay. some grilled garlic scapes in there, too, Looks with a delicious. pickled beet relish and some poached spot prawn. So I'm going to have you do the pickled beet relish. Okay. And if you can measure into the pot uh, equal parts, and I have a measuring cup there, Okay. of uh, red vinegar, sugar, and water. Okay. And then we're going to bring that to a boil. While you're doing that, so by can I do a half a cup? Then? Absolutely. Like you have yeah. Here? Okay. Absolutely. I think uh, just equal parts. Whatever you think, oh, volume wise, think. is going to cover your beets. Okay. The beets That's I just roasted of off in the oven and peeled them and chopped them up. They're in the bowl there. Okay. Um, so the beets are already cooked when you do the beets agrodolce. Oh, okay. Agri when you pickle them, the pickle they're beets. already yep. they're already cooked. So yeah. cook those quickly, and then you can put them in the pickling liquid. And okay. while you're doing that, I'm going to make a chili oil. I like to finish a lot of my stuff with something that gives it some zest, some spice. So I have just some regular canola oil, not olive oil, just canola oil here and I'm going to crush up these Arbol chilies uh, which is a kind of cayenne mm -hmm. and you dump it right in there and uh, this we just bring up till it's warm and the chilies just, start to sizzle. You really just crush those Crush lightly. them up, yep. And okay. if you want you can do them with the hole and pulse it in the blender okay. afterwards. It extracts that heat. So this you just warm up till it just starts to sizzle. This you're going to bring to a boil. Okay. And this will dissolve It will dissolve. Yep. Okay. And once it gets nice and hot we take it and we're going to dump it over the beets, okay. uh, the hot liquid over the beets, um, and then once so my we're letting this get mm -hmm. a little hot. Yep. Okay, we'll get that up, and then uh, the chilies we're going to heat up in the chill in the oil, the canola oil, like I said, and we're just going to get those start to sizzle. Once they sizzle, you can either put them in a blender, pulse it just a couple times, but be very careful with the hot oil, um, or you can just strain it right through. Is this going to bring a lot of heat? A decent amount of heat. Yeah. Okay. And, and not if you, too much. Uh, not too much. Just doing it like this with the crushed up chilies. But if you pulse it in the blender, it really extracts a lot okay. more. So I like to get it nice and hot, and then I just use a little bit. Um, okay. And you know, we can talk about a couple of the other dishes. So once it's hot and your chilies are starting to just move a mm -hmm. little bit, you're just going to strain it out. Um, I like to go through the colander. I also like to go through a kitchen towel just to get it really, really clear. Um, and you end up with this nice, just clear chili oil with a decent amount of heat. So how long would you say we want to steep those? Those you would steep for about eight minutes, probably okay. ten minutes. Okay. Um, the longer you steep them, the spicier they and are. And if you just go for a couple minutes and do it in the blender, that really works well. Okay. I have a big blender. I do it quite a bit at a time. Um, it'll last you for a month. Okay, I was going to ask you. So you put it in mm -hmm. a container. Yep. And I and keep then it I in the uh, fridge and you're keep it in the fridge and yep, and we okay. use it in a little bit of everything actually. So all right, that's Sounds the chili delicious. oil. Okay, um, and then you're going to come up to a boil, and once that is hot, okay, you can just dump it right over your beets. Right. Yeah, and then that I would cover, and okay. I would stick in the fridge overnight. Okay, um, and then once it's um, and then that's pickled. That's that pickled, point. exactly. Okay. That's all you're going to do for the pickled beets. And then overnight, I'm going to let that sit. And in the morning, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put, uh, strain it, put the beets into a food process, and just pulse it a little bit. Or lay them out in a Which knife. You have right there. Yep. Lay them out and just chop them up with a knife so that it's just Beautiful. sort of a relish. Okay. I mix it with some olive oil and whatever great fresh herbs you have around. Um, I picked up some mint, chives, thyme. Um, and at just the farmer's mix that market. together? Mm -hmm. And mix that together. See so this lovely, just okay. bright beet relish. All right. All right, so let's put it together. Let's put it together, and then we'll talk about some of your other dishes. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to put down a huge mound Ooh, of beautiful. the beets. Yeah. Okay. That oil really gets them to shine. And so I think the dish itself is going to be very simple, mm -hmm. um, but bright, and hopefully Ooh, you'll find you can it smell interesting. smell how fresh yeah. that is. Okay. All right, and then I take a little bit of green beans and some grilled garlic scapes. Um, this is with a saffron and lemon okay. dressing. Um, 
you know, it's strange to use saffron in, in like a salad, but you put the saffron in with the lemon juice and just let it sit with oh, some and that's garlic the water, chips. Or that's the mm -hmm. liquid it's And it breaks in. it down okay. and it's nice and bright. Delicious. Um, and then uh, okay. I mix it with a little bit of olive oil. So I'll put that right okay. in the center. And so this is, I would consider more kind of like an entree salad. Yeah. Um, type. Oh, yeah. All right. And then our spot prawns. So right here you can see we have the spot prawns. They're full and whole in the shell. Mm -hmm. At the restaurant, what I like to do is I like to clean the shell off. So you have the head for effect. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. And I'll get you to put those on for me if you want. Okay. So we're just. Yeah, just shingle them around. around. Yeah. So while I'm doing this, tell me more about the restaurant. All right. Well, I'm the, the executive Outlook chef of the, the Outlook Inn and the New Leaf Cafe on Orcas Island in East Sound, um, right in Fishing Bay on the Salish Sea. Um, it is this beautiful boutique hotel. Um, we do brunch every day, uh, except for Ooh. Tuesday and Wednesday from oh, 8 to 1. I think we have gorgeous. the best brunch in the world. Uh, Look with at my that view. Best egg cook in the world, Ben, my sous chef in the morning, and Devin at night. We do dinner. Uh, she's my sous chef at night. We do... Um, dinner from 5 to 9 p.m. I try to focus on the local ingredients and really, uh, yeah. you know, seasonality of, of what we do out there. Well, let's talk about some of your other dishes while I... Sure. This guy lost his tail, so I'm taking it, by the way. Perfect. I'm going to try that. Tell us about some of these I'm other I'm going to finish this one okay. up first. So the, the prawns, I tossed with some lemon and oil and salt and pepper. Mm. You'll see I use a lot of lemon, a lot of herbs, um, and things like that. Now, I like to give it... It's bright and it's nice, but I like to give it something fun, a little interesting. So okay. I'm going to take this fresh horseradish and just grate it right over the top. And it gives it a bite, almost like a play on cocktail sauce. Um, and then I'm also going to take a little bit of our Arbol chili, chili oil oh, and just go a little bit of drizzle on there. There you go. All right. Well, I'm going to try the chili oil at the break, but real quick, sure. okay, about so 30 seconds. I have uh, the local sockeye salmon um, that I did a ahi, uh, sorry, a sockeye salmon crudo um, with hazelnuts, oranges, nigella mm. seeds, the same chili oil, olive oil, and some smoked salt. Okay. Um, and then I have this. Uh, we're going to put this on the menu later in the summer. It's the local Salish Sea halibut. Um, with heirloom tomatoes and a spring vegetable salad. I, I scored a couple of tomatoes, and then I had this beautiful heirloom tomato consomme that I do with it, which is clear and bright, yeah. and uh, it's sort of like a, like a clear gazpacho. Like I said, you can smell the freshness in all these dishes. Absolutely, and hopefully Thank that's what so we do. Thank you so much. Thank all you right, for I'm having I'm gonna me. dive into the chili oil part <laughs> all right. after the break. All right, well, Andrew has shared his recipe with us. If you'd like to give it a try, we've got it on our website, or you can text the word recipe to 206-448-4545, and we'll send the link straight to your phone.